Hi everyone, it's your boy Master Chief Mike again. And this time we're talking about the championships that Eddie Guerrero won plus the championship that I forgot to introduce. The WWE the WWE Tag Team title, the Raw WWE Tag Team Championship. Mm. Mm. I forgot to introduce them in the last video. I don't know why. So let's get into it, shall we? So here we see the European Championship that El Guerrero, I believe. One at first because uh, he came in with the radicals in the, into the WWF, which were uh, a group that was formerly known as the Re Revolution in WCW, I believe. But in WWF. They came in as the radicals, and the members of the group were Dean Malenko, Perry Saturn, and Chris Benoit, and Eddie Guerrero. But at that time, I I don't know if they ever won any championships or something like that. What I know is that later that uh, um, that he later teamed up with China, Eddie Guerrero, and he won the WWF European Championship. No? That was, I believe, his first title in the WWE, later known as WWF, uh, <laughs> later known as WWE. No? Uh, the WWF that was later known as WWE. So, now oh, I got it right. So, and he won that European Championship two times. When I'm information is right. Hey, I'm reading this from my other phone, but I don't know if it's... The, if the information is completely right that I have, but I, I I think it's accurate. He won the European Championship two times, and uh, yeah, that was that. Later, then he became the Intercontinental Champion, and the Intercontinental Champion. Uh, my 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 phone says he won the intercontinental champion two times too and yeah i i know that he had a ladder match against um rob van dam and i don't know if he won that there but uh um he won this championship two times and it was his second championship that he won i think later he teamed up with chavo his nephew and won the wwe tag team championship he won it multiple times. Huh? He won multiple times this blue SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Huh? The WWE Tag Team Championship. And he won it with Chavo. He won, he won it with Chavo two times. He won it with one time with Chajiri, and he won it one time with Rey Mysterio together.
he became also United States champion. Uh, 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 he became also United States champion while he was tag team champion with, together with Chavo at one uh, time. I believe that, yeah, it was the second t time where, when he won the t WWE Tag Team Championship together with Chavo, when he also won had the United States title. This, um, yeah, that was that. And that here is, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, he won the title only one time. The United, no, he won it two times. Two times he won the United States Championship. He won it two times in WWE. And now to the last championship. That he won the WWE Championship. That was the last title that he won. Sadly. He would have won the World Heavyweight Championship from Batista later. But sadly that didn't happen. He died sadly before he could win the big gold belt. But he was on his way to become world heavyweight champion. And I know he would have been a great world heavyweight champion. But that was the title that Eddie Guerrero won. In WWE. All these titles. Here, the European Championship, the Intercontinental Championship, the WWE Tag Team Championships. Here, the United States Heavyweight Championship and the WWE Championship. It's really sad that he couldn't win the big gold belt. He would have deserved it. So now to the red, to the raw tag team championships that I forgot to mention in the last video. I bought these titles because um, this has nothing to do with Eddie or uh, anything like that. These championships I bought because uh, the shield. I love this group very much. They are they are the Hounds of Justice because of the respect and the brotherhood they had. And they still have to this day. Even though Dean Ambrose is now John Moxley in AEW, they still have this bond. This brotherhood. To this day, Roman Reigns calls Seth Rollins his little brother. They all are brothers. The shield was 
a group like none other. They were not only just a group, they were a brotherhood. They were like a family. And they, they were like no other group. They would go to war together and win together. The shield was unbelievable. They showed, I know, I know the, the, that one betrayal that uh, Seth made and dis he destroyed the shield the first time and John uh, and Dinamblo bros destroyed uh, the shield uh, then later uh, but but before all that happened it was an unbelievable brotherhood which really showed what it really means but what, what friendship and br being a brotherhood should be mm. this, this brotherhood they had it was unbelievable and they showed the people what respect means and what uh, yeah family means and everything like that that this one thing that i like about wrestling they show the the biggest word in this business is respect and this is this tag team tells is <laughs> is I'm sorry that I'm stuttering, but tag team championships, the tag team championships, in my opinion, are the most important championships. The highest price in this business is the world heavyweight title. No, no questions asked. I know the WWE championship and the world heavyweight championship were at the time the highest titles. And, and now it's the undisputed WWE Universal Heavyweight Championship and the World Heavyweight WWE World Heavyweight Championship that are the highest titles today. Yeah. Everyone, I, I know that these are the highest titles and everyone wants to be that. But to me, the tag team championship are the most important because one the brothers win it best friends win it and even people who are were not friends before but later then when they became tag team championship uh, they became tag team champions they, and like Cesaro and Sheamus, for example, they became a, not only a tag team, but they built a friendship. And to this day, they are absolutely great friends. I know this, uh, this uh, thing between them began as a storyline, but to this day, I mean, Cesaro is now uh, in AEW. And Sheamus is still in the WWE. They have big respect for each other. And they, yeah, they show showed us even on social media when Cesaro was beca became the world champion in ROH, yeah. and uh, yeah, that's what I mean. And, this, the tag team division is one of the most important divisions. 
You have to count on your tag team partner. And the shield. Yeah, was a team like no other. I have. Th this this team showed what 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 respect means, was bro what brotherhood means, what respect means. They would go to war like none other group before. That's why they reformed. Uh, th that's why the WWE rebuilt them. Two times. And the last time before Dean Ambrose uh, got out of the WWE. Uh, went, uh, was on his way out of the WWE. Uh, because the fans loved this group so much. Be because of this, this characteristic. The Brotherhood. Believe in the shield. And I believed in them. I was a, I was an unbelievable fan of the shield. And even the bloodline today is not like the shield. I know this is this is uh, a real family thing. Uh, bloodline, or um, the Usos are really related to Roman Reigns, just like Solo Sako is the, br the the little brother of the, the just like the, the Solo Sako. Solo Sako is the little brother of the Usos. And, yeah, they're cousins f from Roman Reigns. So, yeah, this is a real family uh, group. But even this, this group is not comparable to the shield because the shield was something special. The WWE ruined it because of uh, the two uh, reunions they did. A little bit. A little bit. Be but the fans were happy anyways when they came together again. Huh? Huh? Shield was an unbelievable group. And many other tag teams wore these champion championships too that I liked. So that's why I bought the Raw Tag Team Championships. Uh, like Seamus and Cesaro, like the Usos, like Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, and so on and, and so forth. But that uh, that is the reason why I bought this belt. So now that I have covered finally every single belt, and now that I have spoken about the history of this uh, championships and why I bought them, and uh, yeah. Which uh, part of life, at which part of his career, Eddie Guerrero won them, th uh, this titles. Uh, now that I do I've done all that, I, uh, yeah, I end this video now. And wait a second. Here I am again. Yeah, I will end this video now. Now that I covered all these championships. 
and yeah what can i say see you in the next one your boy master chief mike